Hey, hello, Vinyl Community. Thanks for dropping in again. Tony's LP for us here. Um, this is a little video I'm going to do on my part three of my Hendrix series. I started showing Hendrix records uh, a few weeks ago, and it's going to probably be probably be a four or five part series. I just want to take my time and go slow and show some of these records. The ones I'm showing here are from uh, obviously. Uh, live recordings that were released after Hendrix's death, but these are from the Legacy and the Hendrix Experience, which was owned by his, which is owned by Hendrix family, uh, run by his sister Janice. Cheers! I'm gonna pop this open on tape. I just love that sound after Garth Brooks did. All my friends, I've got uh, friends in low places. And uh, it's been a long day. Had a lot going on this morning. And I just wanted to get this done. Now, I've been sidetracked, sidetracked with uh, topics, things that are more relevant on my channel. But I want to thank everyone for uh, subscribing, for leaving comments. I'm getting a lot of good vibes, and uh, we're really building the channel. If you have any suggestions, uh, please comment. I know people like the Hendrix because whenever I put some Hendrix stuff up, I get a lot of uh, looks and a lot of great comments. So I'm going to do uh, four or five albums today. And then we'll do uh, part four in a few days, and we'll take it from there. So cheers. Cheers, Jimmy. The first one up is a uh, Christmas release. Came out a few years ago from the Hendrix family. This is uh, Happy New Year, Merry Christmas. And uh, it's on green vinyl, which is really nice. It's a 10-inch translucent green. And this has a rehearsal on it from um, December 1969, Band of Gypsies, where it has Little Drummer Boy, Silent Night. And uh, this is a rehearsal. And then on side two, it has an extended version of this. And I'm not sure if that's if that's live or from the New Year's Eve shows or uh, or a rehearsal rather. But that's it. Here's the here's the rear. You can see that through the cellophane. Original shrink. Uh, this was $7.99 when I purchased it, and there's the spine. <clears throat> Next one I'm going to show is a complete Jimi Hendrix at Woodstock. And in addition to doing a great job, uh, Janice Hendrix, uh, Eddie Kramer is uh, works on most of these records, as far as I know. The original engineer uh, from Electric Ladyland, a lot of Hendrix um, material post were subpar. Once Kramer got involved with his sister, they really did a great job. John McDermott is also a producer on this one. And this is a, a triple. This is highly recommended. Everything, I believe, everything that we have on Hendrix from uh, Woodstock. There's also a companion Blu-ray DVD, uh, Blu-ray and DVD that I highly recommend it. So you can actually see the man in action with a great band and great sound re uh, remastered right there. And here's the flip. Just incredible. And there's the tracks. And uh, I'll just show you one of the one of the records. Really heavy vinyl. I've never had any problems with any of these legacy Jimi Hendrix Experience family records. They're just flawless. They're they sound. I'm not sure if they're all analog, but they sound all analog. There's depth. There's a sound stage. You can hear every metal string that, that Hendrix touches, and the band just rocks with him. There's our other record right there. And uh, record three. Now, these all come, the ones I'm showing today, all have 12 by 12 booklets, which are on high quality paper. There's uh, photos that were never published officially before. And the CDs have the companion mini booklets as well. Um, just show a few pages here, right there. And chock full of information probably session information, uh, remastered information, et cetera. 
So that's Hendrix, Woodstock, the complete Woodstock. Now, Hendrix, of course, Woodstock 1 had Hendrix tracks. Then there was a, a Woodstock 2 that had one side devoted to Hendrix with three or four tracks, which I'll talk about in a future video. But that's a complete Hendrix um, set or sets, I believe one set. Um, and maybe whatever other, you know, maybe some re a rehearsal in there or whatever, but I have to go back and look at it. But that is a tremendous album. It's a triple album. Next one up is the album that Hendrix was set to make after Electric Ladyland, Valley of Valleys of Neptune. This is a double. And again, this is actually a numbered album, 3041 from Legacy. And this is a double, and inside we have a little card that indicates the 12 previously unreleased tracks, 10 recordings made between February 69 and uh, 68 uh, post Electric Land. And this includes 68 and 1969 arrangements of Red House, Fire, and Stone Free. So this is really cool. This comes with a booklet uh, and really great artwork. The artwork's by Hendrix. This was also the, the single. I also have that on a CD, that artwork, a watercolor by Jimmy. Let's see here. Yeah. But really nice. Gatefold, and here's the one of the records. Really beautiful pressing. Again, these pre these pressings are flawless. They've extended them to two albums, so the music is is stretched out. I, I think the most on a side is 15 minutes. So we're getting all that. Here's the uh, the book. Great pictures of the band, the experience. And you can hear the quality of the paper right there. Some great unreleased photographs. I'm sure the Hen I'm not a Hendrix expert. I'm sure the Hendrix experts, real aficionados, have seen all these photos. Um, different publications and such, but that's a really high record. Uh, here's the uh, hype sticker that was on the record. I believe that's the hype sticker. Yes. Here's a cool one. That's a compilation of Hendrix that Hendrix blues tracks, original and covers. This is one of my favorite Hendrix records. I've I, you know, loved Hendrix for the last 50 years. This is also on Legacy. This is another flawless, pre flawless pressing. I'll show you the pressing in a minute. Let me show you the gatefold. Right there. And you can see here on the cover has all the blues artists that Hendrix was influenced by that preceded Hendrix. And a lot of them lived, lived, outlived Hendrix, which is ironic. There's uh, Ike Turner's on here, B.B. King, Howlin' Wolf, Barry, um, Johnson, Muddy, uh, Sun House, I see. Really, really cool. And at the, when you back it up, you see the Hendrix image. And I'll show you the booklet, which is again on high paper, high paper. Really, really nice. You get your money with the legacy recordings. And like I said, the, the tracks are fantastic. And this, this is a really cool one because there's a lot of great blues on here let me see if i go over a few of them with you take the back of the record for instance 
Where's the track list? Track list is somewhere. But this has, um, let me see. Hear my comment, Born Under a Bad Sign, Catfish Blues, Red House, Voodoo Child Blues, Manish Boy, Bleeding Heart, Once I Had a Woman, Jam 292, which uh, Hendrix does the King thing, it says here, which is Freddie and Albert King. Electric Church, Red House, Hear My Train of Coming. And uh, really extended, all extended jams on here. And inside there's a, a legend of who's who on the cover. So that's a great one. Let me show you the record. Here's one of the albums. And you can see these, these are flawless. These recordings and these pressings are flawless. All heavy, 100 to 200 gram vinyl. And I'll show one more for this segment. This is the authorized Hendrix Family Edition. This is a deluxe two record. And I'm looking at these prices. And I can't believe this was only $23.99. This is a numbered edition, 008110. One I'm not sure how many were done. But this is the Miami Pop Festival. And I believe these are all still available. And it might not be available as numbered. But they're all still from the legacy. Jimi Hendrix family. And this is great. There's also a video that you can catch online on this. Let me see the book. Just super shots. And, you know, the sad thing is, as you know, I talked about this earlier, most of the songs are repetitive on all these Hendrix live Hendrix records. You know, he was only around for a few years when they were actually, you know, was playing the band and then Band of Gypsies came along. Um, so these live records have, have tracks that we've all heard. But the good thing about Jimmy is he never played the solo the same way never sang it the same way. It's like listening to the Grateful Dead live. It's always, or Dylan, they're always going to put a new spin on it. The bands, and he has people coming in later on, Band of Gypsies did a lot of the Hendrix Experience songs. So you get it, you're going to get a nice ver, uh, variety of Hendrix. You're seeing Hendrix that day, basically. And it's like a, j like a jazz musician. It's not going to do the same thing twice. Uh, on an upcoming video, I'm going to show the which could probably take a whole video itself, the Hendrix box set from the uh, New Year's Eve concerts. I believe it's either f five or eight records in there and it, of each of each set. And it's just uh, the, three, the three sets I think he did. It's just amazing. Um, so here's this. Here's out here, Miami Pop Festival. Here's the gatefold right there. And I'll show you the LP. It's a double LP. Nice colors there. Purple. Miami. Miami Pop Festival. This was recorded in Miami. That's a stretch. And uh, May 18th, which is almost an anniversary, 1968. And on here is Hey Joe, Foxy Lady, Tax Free, Fire, Hear My Train and Coming, I Don't Live Today, Red House, Purple Haze. And from an afternoon show, there's a bonus of Fire and an afternoon show bonus of Foxy Lady. So the rest of the morning shows. And like I said, even though we've heard these records time and time again, every time you hear Hendrix live, it's, it's, a, new, it's a new record, basically. So... So that's it. Uh, I'm going to keep it at a short length, so more digestible. Some of them get too long. <clears throat> I'm probably going to do another two segments on Jimmy, go over some of the records, and uh, show some of the booklets. So uh, cheers. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for liking. I appreciate everyone stopping in. I know there's a lot of competition on the uh, Final Community site. There's a lot of great 
a lot of great talent, a lot of great shows. I watch a, a lot of them. So if you have any comments or if you'd like to see some other stuff I have, uh, a lot of, of as far as vintage records, uh, give me a drop a comment and we'll try to get back into you. Thanks a lot. Keep rocking. Tony's LPs are us out. Bye-bye. Thank you.